What's good music producers and welcome to Curtis King TV. Today I have a tutorial that's going to show you an easy way for you to collaborate with any music producer from around the world. No matter where you're at, as long as your friend has access to the internet, has a mouse, check. <laughs> <laughs> and has Zoom, which is absolutely free. You could be collaborating with him or her right now. It's super easy. It's a remote control feature that if you didn't know how to use it, I'm going to show you how to do that today. Let's talk about it. Music producers, welcome to 2021 or whenever you're actually watching this. Uh, it's an amazing time to be an online music producer. And we kind of had to figure out this whole scenario of remote collaboration through some really devastating and crazy times with the pandemic of 2020. But that being said, one of the greatest tools that I have seen during this time has been Zoom. Zoom has its pros and its cons. Things happen on there and technical difficulties happen, but all of that is just part of using technology. However, there is a feature on Zoom, which is absolutely free. There's some different tiers you can look at, but if you have a Zoom account and you're able to start a Zoom session and you can invite someone in, there is a feature on here that is super, super dope that is going to to not only let the person that you want to collaborate with see what you're working on, but also be able to manipulate it using their computer and their mouse. Now, as you see on the screen right now, there's two different folks in here. I am actually the host. I would suggest that whoever is the host, make sure it's the person that has a more stable internet connection. Right now, I'm like straight in the ethernet, straight into the, the computer. Everything is like as fast as it could be. I have a really good internet supply. So it's important for me to be the host, especially as we turn on some of these features that I'm gonna show you. Now, first and foremost, if you've never used Zoom before, super easy to sign up sign up download the desktop app which is going to be crucial for this tutorial and once you do that you're going to see just yourself when you get in here right it's going to ask you to to set up computer audio which you can do but even if you do it wrong if you click down here on this microphone you're going to see different microphone inputs as well as speaker outputs that are going to basically control where you're hearing the participant that you're in the meeting with, where you're going to be able to hear them or what output you're going to hear them from. Now, the inputs are going to be your microphone. And as you can see, I'm getting audio from there. I know the homies at Producer Grind do collaborations via Zoom. You probably tried to figure out how to enable it. And sometimes it's not default enabled. So in order to access that, what you want to do is click here down here in the audio settings and then you want to click into the general and then view more settings so we just need to make sure that it's actually activated first you click here on the window you want to click here to the settings tab okay and once you do that you want to click on in meeting advanced and you want to make sure that the remote support is turned on now this is really important because you want to make sure you enable this for you, if you're the host or the person that's hosting, you want to make sure that they enable it. So you enable it here. Everything should be good. If you don't see it on your dashboard, then just restart Zoom. It's really easy to start up a meeting. All you have to do is basically go here to your dashboard and then you just go here to the home and then you start a meeting. Once you get here to the actual Zoom and it's going to be just you, mind you, what you want to do is click here on participants and then invite. Once you get here to the invite, go to copy invite link, copy that and send it to your friend. Once they get it, they can jump in. Once they jump in, they're going to show up here in the participants It's going to say, do you want to admit this person into the room? Let them come on in. Once they're in here, this is optional, but this is something I like to do just to make sure that we have smooth selling. You make that person a co-host. OK, do you want to make Curtis laptop the co-host of the meeting? Absolutely. Once they're the co-host, we're imagining this is your friend that you invited that's remote. OK, that's good. Let's also make sure that they can hear the music here in FL Studio. Now, before we play the music, make sure your audio settings are set to like the FL Studio ASIO. I've seen that one, especially if you're on FL Studio to be the one that's the most stable. I, of course, use ASIO Link Pro. That's a whole nother tutorial because it's going to be more things you got to do, some other rewiring and routing. But I use FL ASIO. That's pretty stable, especially if you plan on sharing this on the Internet and like using an open broadcast system like OBS. But once you do that, you're set up here, you should be able to get audio straight from from the computer so once we got the audio set up next thing we want to do is click here back on zoom and I actually since I'm the host want to share this screen now before I share the screen I got to make sure you click on share sound if you don't do that you're not going to hear anything now share sound 
Boom. Another setting you might want to go ahead and look into in audio settings, and this has actually created so many issues for me. Make sure that this suppressed background audio or noise is set to low because you'll have the sound coming in and out. It won't be on point and you'll be super frustrated with the process. It happened to me and the homie Simon Servita. Now, next thing, music and professional audio. If you want to get a better audio quality for your guest, you want to make sure that you click here to turn on original sound. And you can test it out to see what works best, but I usually turn that on and then high fidelity music mode as it tells you, optimizes your Zoom audio for highest quality music. It can increase the CPU utilization and consume greater network bandwidth. Now, it's not absolutely necessary, but if you're going for, you know, the best sound that you can, it's something that's worth looking into, especially if you have a more high power computer. If you don't, click all that stuff off and don't even worry about it. But once that's set up, you should be good to go. Now, we're sharing audio right now. Let me go ahead and test out and see if I can hear from the other computer. <laughs> Okay, super dope. So I'm hearing audio coming through really, really clear on the other laptop. So that means that the audio can at least be heard. Sweet, we're almost there. Next thing you wanna do is as the host, you wanna click down here over this dashboard. You wanna locate this remote control option, click on that. And then you want to give mouse slash keyboard control to, of course, your co-host. Click on that. And now it'll show up on the other screen. As you can see here, it will show up on the other screen in this top right hand corner. It'll say this yellow screen will say you can control Curtis King's screen. Sweet. So now what you can see is if I want to go ahead and start this beat, I can from this remote control computer. <laughs> And then the beat stops. <laughs> Super dope, right? So I can even go in here and I can move stuff over, move the drums to different places. And as you can see on the screen, all that stuff is getting affected from the remote option. So you can do this with pretty much anyone around the world. If you're going to be the host though, you want to make sure that you have a stable internet connection or this thing is going to be a headache and a half. Half the battle for me was just getting the audio right and making sure the right inputs and outputs were there. But once you get it set up one time, you should be good. Hopefully that helps. It's super easy to set up, but once you want to stop sharing, all you got to do is click here is stop share and right here. And then you're back to your regular screen. Everything is back to normal and uh, you can even kick them out if you want. Peace out. <laughs> but that's that. Hopefully today's video helped you out. If you plan on collaborating with a friend from around the world, I want to know, did this help you? Is this something that you're finding any issues with? If you are, leave it in the comments below and I'll try to make a follow-up video or try to answer your question directly in the comments. I think it's super dope that there's features like this that enable you to almost real time. I mean, obviously we're not quite there yet, but almost real time tweak around with things. If there was one thing that I could tell Zoom, if anybody's from Zoom is watching, and I don't know how far away we are technology-wise, if there's one control I wish we had, I wish that we could play our MIDI controllers from where we're at and then have it go into the other person's DAW. I'm sure there's some workarounds. If you know a way to do that, I'm sure there's some kind of program out that allows you to do that. But Zoom, can we get that? Can we get that? We out here using your product. Can we get that? Thank you for watching today's video. Definitely like, subscribe if you found this video to be helpful. Hit that notification bell if you want to get more content like this. We do stuff for music creators, music producers all the time. And if you like this content, you're going to I love the stuff we have coming up. Like I always say, in this life, you will not be full of life until you decide to live life to its fullest. Once again, it's Curtis King of Curtis King TV and SlapExperts.com. Have a good one. Peace. Look up, Nazi. Say cheese. <laughs>